On the Isle of Patmos, John heard a voice like a trumpet, and when he turned to see who was speaking, he saw Jesus Christ in the midst of seven lampstands. Jesus was dressed in glory, and his face shone like the sun in full strength. When I saw him, John writes in verse 17, I fell at his feet as though dead. This may mean that he fainted, or it may mean that John was so afraid he thought he was about to die. Then Jesus placed his right hand on me, he said, and, and, he, and Jesus said, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. That's equivalent to the Alpha and the Omega, a title given to God the Father earlier in the chapter. Jesus says, I am the living one. I was dead. And now, look, I am alive forever and ever, and I hold the keys of death and Hades. Jesus is the one who can let us out of jail, so to speak. He can let us escape the captivity of death. He's been there and done that, and he gives us freedom from the fear of death. So John said, Jesus says in verse 19, Write therefore what you have seen, what is now, and what will take place later. So we are going to see in the book of Revelation some things that are now, some things that will take place later. As an example of the things that are now, we can look in chapters 2 and 3 at the letters to the seven churches in Asia Minor. Those describe things that, from John's perspective, are now. That's the way things were when he wrote. Then in verse 20, Jesus explains to John that the mystery of the seven stars that you saw in my right hand and of the seven golden lampstands is this. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven lampstands are the seven churches. Well, if Jesus hadn't called it a mystery, we might not have even thought about it. John didn't tell us he was wondering about it. It's just what he saw. Now Jesus says that those things had a hidden meaning. We are going to come across a lot of hidden meanings in the book of Revelation. But Jesus doesn't give us the meaning for all of them. Some of them will continue to be mysteries. So here we see that the seven stars are the seven angels, and the seven lampstands represent the seven churches. Jesus is standing in the midst of the seven churches, and he holds the seven angels in his right hand. Jesus has not gone off to heaven and abandoned his church. He continues to be with them and care about them. 